few more days have passed, and I still haven't received my assignment. Guess it's going to be another day on... Oh, the Mueller brothers. I heard the news, Alexandra. You toppled all those Federation bases all by yourself? Not by myself, no. The Mueller brothers were with me. That's so. Wonder why I never heard about it from them. Usually they'd be bragging up a storm about something like that. Well, anyway, good job out there. Yo, Alexandra. Still haven't gotten your assignment? No, I don't know what's holding them up. I wouldn't worry about it. If they're taking this much time making their decision, it's a sign they recognize how valuable you are. Perhaps, but it'd still be nice to hear something. Alexandra, about that battle, I, uh... Yes, it was a very rewarding experience. <laughs> that's so. Well, thought you'd like to know we got off without punishment. Seems somebody offered a word in our defense. I is that right? How nice of whoever that was. You're a horrible actor. Yo, Alexandra. I hear they've still got you benched. Well... If you're free, I could use your help. We've got some street rats who've gone missing. Missing? I did hear those kids have been causing less trouble lately. Only cause there's fewer of them around to cause it. Thing is, they do get adopted or go into foster care sometimes. But if that happens, they usually let their buddies know about it. These kids, though, vanished, without a word to their pals. So you've already approached the other children about this? No, they came to me. You see, Willie and I rose up from the streets ourselves. I didn't know that. I'll start investigating these disappearances immediately. Thanks. If we turn up anything else, We'll let you know. Now that I've made my way out of the station, I'd better start asking around about those kids. I'll check in with the weapon shop first. The owner of this bakery is the nicest woman. She always remembers my usual order. And when she gives me my change, she gives my hand a squeeze. I suppose you're never too old to fall in love. Hmm. I have yet to fall in love myself. Oh? Love's good for the body. Gives you a healthy glow. Heck, go ahead and fall in love with me if you want. I don't mind. As it happens, my body's in fine health, even if it isn't glowing. So, no thank you.
reactors are so convenient. It seems like they're used for everything these days. I can't imagine life without them. The larger the city grows, the more restaurants we get. Now I'm hungry and I can't decide where to eat. Why don't you eat at all of them? <laughs> Good one! As if one person could actually eat that much. Ah, the magnificence of Gardenburg Castle. Surrounded by High Garden, the epitome of order and beauty. Yes, it's a wonderful city. Yes, though I'm a new graduate with no formal station, yet. Huh, I don't know what that means, but I think you're cool. And I want to be a soldier too. Why is that? Because I want to protect my mom. I see. That's very noble of you. But at your age, you should let others protect you. There are stories of children around here going missing. Stay close to your mom so she doesn't have to worry. Huh. I don't really get that either, but okay, sure! They really have gone missing? I knew it! You did? Like I told you, they've been causing less trouble lately. Despite not facing repercussions from anyone around here. Which leads me to believe someone's snatching them up. I bet my life it's human traffickers. If that's true, I won't let it stand. Hope you can do something. Let me know if I can be of help. Thank you. Can you think of anyone else who might know anything? Let's see. The woman at the bakery might... She sometimes gives out leftovers to the kids. I see. I'll go check it out. If I recall, the bakery should be visible from Main Street. You're telling me some of the homeless kids have gone missing? How do you know they didn't just find a new area to sleep in? Or maybe they just decided to leave the capital altogether? This train right here? It's no exaggeration to say it carries the entire empire. We rely on it for quick dispatches, too. The kids have been disappearing? That explains why my leftovers have been less popular lately. I always leave them by the back door at the end of the day. You don't give the food to the kids directly? Technically, I'm not giving it to them at all. I put it out and they take it. It has to go somewhere, right? Well, that doesn't leave me with a whole lot to go on. I'm sorry I don't have more information for you. But, come to think of it, lately I keep hearing the sound of a flute. Shortly after I've put the leftovers out. A flute, huh? How strange. Anything else? That's all I've got. I do hope you can find those kids, Alexandra. 
I'll do everything in my power. Well, where can I go now? Guess there's nothing left to do but talk to the kids themselves. Mommy took me on the train for the very first time! It was scary, but when the train went up high, the city got so small, everything looked like toys! A strange flute noise? Can't say I've heard anything like that. But you know, there are reactors starting up constantly. You sure it wasn't one of them you heard? I believe this next rite should take me to where I can find the children. Damn! Stupid street rats! What happened? A couple of them snuck up behind me. Did they attack you? No, they startled me. When I jumped, they all pointed and laughed. Cheeky brats. D that's certainly impolite of them. Over there is where the homeless gather, but you should steer clear. They live by no one's rules but their own. You remember Olba and Willie? Those two street urchins? Oh yeah, they were always causing trouble in my shop. Mueller took him in, trying to get in good with the military. Used his money to clean him up and get him in the academy. Now they call him the Mueller brothers. Apparently they're running all sorts of missions for the army. Brothers? They aren't related by blood though. I don't expect that's particularly important to them, after all. Even most blood-related brothers aren't as close as those two. You know, putting those delinquents to work for the country... I guess it was a good thing in the end. Just goes to show people can change at any time, huh? I think that's... <laughs> Another soldier. Here to protect us, I'm sure. I'm getting out of here. You there, wait! Yeah, I'll have to run after him. Is he here? Damn it! I ain't getting caught! He got away again. I wasn't expecting a child to be this elusive. Where did he run off to? There you are! I... I can't believe you found me! Too bad it won't happen again! I thought I knew my way around the capital, but this boy knows the back roads better than I do. Still, I have no intention of giving up. You still on my trail? Give it up, will ya? I promise. All I want to do is talk, okay? Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that? Listen to me. I'm only... Hey, folk! This way! Yo, Joyce! Perfect timing! Wait, hold on! And he got away. It's hard for me to imagine any human being abducting children like these. 
since that would require catching them first. Well, at any rate, guess I'm gonna need Olba and Willy's help on this. I heard the brothers were out here on a beast hunt. They work this late into the night? We owe so much to the dedication of those on the front lines. When the day finally comes that I get my assignment, I hope I'm able to serve as diligently as they do. For now, though, if I want to continue my investigation, I'll need to recruit their assistance. Olba told me the two of them grew up on the streets. I wouldn't have guessed that. But it does shed some light on their perception of me. And their treatment. We do not choose the circumstances of our birth. But knowing what I know now about theirs, I find myself wondering if I ever made them feel smaller by speaking or acting thoughtlessly. What was that? Need to get it together. What was that? I let my guard down. I keep thinking of that child I encountered in the alley. He was such a fast runner with an indomitable spirit. If we could get him into the military academy, I could see him rising to the top of the Imperial forces someday. We could use more soldiers like him and the Mueller brothers. It would be a great credit to our army. Hmm? Over there, is that? Allow me to assist. Alexandra? The Ivory Immortal is here. She'll turn the tide for us. Such a weird nickname. What if it starts catching on? Purity of Dawn. And light. No, never mind that. Concentrate on taking down these beasts. That's the spirit. Etch this into your heart. <laughs> How you like this? Too bad. Pathetic. Here I go. saved our necks. But what are you doing here? I was just at the baker's looking into the missing kids. She's been hearing a flute noise lately that could be connected. So I tried asking one of the kids about it, but... Gave you the slip, huh? Yes, that's why I came to you two for help. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't warn you. But did you really think a street kid was gonna open up to you? Some la-dee-da noblewoman with a stick up her butt? You're practically dripping with privilege. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sorry, just giving you a hard time. So, about that flute... You've heard of it before? Yeah, there are rumors going around about a phantom. They say it plays a flute. It makes people's heads go fuzzy. A phantom? Well, I don't know about that part. You know how rumors are. But if someone had a way of controlling these kids... Then that someone would be able to capture them easily. But where are they being held, I wonder? We may be able to shed some light on that as well. Not long ago, a young girl dressed in noble attire was spotted outside the city, wandering these barrens. A young girl out here? No reason as yet to believe she's connected to the children. But we were thinking about looking into it. Do you know where she went after she was spotted? Yes, as a matter of fact. The Bahard Labyrinth. The perfect spot to hide a group of kids. <laughs> 